All right, let's put the pieces together. This is the startup.s. There's the reset handler, which is where it begins when you hit the reset. Down here we see the sysdic handler, which we'll do next. But the one we're doing today is the port F handler. So when we touch the switch, this location will specify what software gets executed. That is our vector. All right, let's look at the initialization. We're going to activate the clock, clear our counter, the direction register is equal to a zero because it's an input. We're going to enable the pin for digital signals. We don't care about the alternate function or peak control or the analog. We do have to have a pull up because this is port F uh, bit four on the launch pad which requires a pull up. And here are the four bits that we saw in the last video. IS equals zero, IBE equals zero, IEV equals zero, and to arm it, we're going to set the IM, or the arm bit, equal to a one. When we write to the ICR, it will clear the flag. This is the code which sets the priority seven register to set the priority for this interrupt. And then we're going to set bit 30 of the enable register to enable the port F edge trigger. And lastly, we're going to enable all interrupts by clearing the I bit. Here's our interrupt service routine. On the trigger, which is the falling edge of the switch, we're going to first acknowledge by clearing the trigger flag, by writing a one to the IC register, and then we're going to increment the counter, which will count the number of times the switch is pressed. And then we'll return from interrupt. Uh, by just simply returning. The main program doesn't do much. It initializes the system and then waits in this wait loop. Now let's run it. Yeah. All right, to run it, we'll download it. And we're going to run the debugger. This is the real board. We're going to set up a watch down here so that we can count the number of edges. And then we're going to hit the go button up here and we're going to see down here in the in this window how many times we press the button okay uh, now i'm going to press the button Ooh. and release it so that's the touch cost and increment by Ooh. one i'm going to press and Ooh. release a second increment it works and I press and release yeah. a third increment all right so in summary, we've seen that important events are set to trigger an interrupt. We'll set the priority of that interrupt. We'll set its vector so that we know where to go. We will arm it to say we're interested in interrupts. We'll enable it in the nested vector interrupt controller and we'll clear the I bit so all interrupts can happen. And when the trigger event occurs, we will perform the action required by that interrupt and then acknowledge the interrupt, which is clearing the trigger flag. Okay, so next, let's take a look at another interrupt, a commonly used interrupt, which is the periodic cystic interrupt. Ah, let's.